Microsoft Graph Rag has become quite popular. So much popular that companies like Llama Index, they have created their own implementation of Graph Rag. If you don't know what Graph Rag is, then please search my channel. I have done like around 10 videos in the last few days on Graph Rag from different angles, local installation with Olama, OpenAI, and there are heaps of other stuff. So please search it out because in this video, I'm not going to explain Graph Rag yet again. Rather, I will be showing you the implementation by Llama Index. Llama Index is one of the most popular toolkit framework which enables you to create production ready large language models by integrating your own data framework with it. And there are heaps of videos on the channel if you are interested in learning more about Llama Index. But for the purpose of this one, let's create the implementation of Llama Index when it comes to Graph Rag. Also, I will be giving you the link of the notebook which Llama Index has provided. So feel free to go through it. And I will also explain as we go as what exactly is happening. Before I show you the hands-on demo, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Okay, so let's go to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM. As I will be using API based and uh, OpenAI's platform, so you don't need that much VRAM, but it's always good to have it. Let's clear the screen and now let me create a Conda environment where we'll, I will create the Jupyter Notebook and then we will play around with this implementation in the Jupyter Notebook. Environment is done and I have stepped into that environment. Let me create this Jupyter Notebook and it is going to launch it in my browser. So let's wait for it to get launched. So Notebook is launched. Let me start installing some of the prerequisites like Llama Index and Grasp or Logic, NumPy. And then while that happens, let me try to explain as what exactly is happening here in this video. So we are impl implementing Graph Rag with Llama Index. And this graph rag is different from Microsoft graph rag. This graph rag combines the strength of rag and query focused summarization to effectively handle complex queries over large text data sets. While rag excels in fetching precise information, it struggles with broader queries that require thematic understanding, a challenge that query focused summarization addresses but cannot scale well. That is where Graph Rag integrates these approaches to offer responsive, thorough queuing capabilities across diverse text data. And that is where we are using here Llama Index with property graph abstractions to create our Graph Rag pipeline. And this is again approximate implementation of Graph Rag. It is not that Graph Rag which we have used earlier. Okay, and there are two steps in it. First, they generate the graph which builds the entities and their relationship over a text provided by you. And then they use summaries to provide you the answer, uh, the prompt. And the rest of the stuff is same. Like when you generate a Greg, you take your own text document, you divide it into chunks for easier processing. Then we um, use those chunks to identify and extract entity and the relationship. And then the extra, those entities and relationship are summarized in text blocks. And then these are converted into tokens and a hierarchical relationship is established and then summaries are generated. That is all what is happening here. And by the way, we also have installed this Graspo logic, which is used to uh, use to use hierarchical Leiden for building communities. Okay, so that is done. And now let's import some of the stuff like pandas and okay, let me not this one. Let me paste it again. My copy paste is just not working today. That good enough anyway. So this is a sample data we are using and you can put it in your if you like. But I'm just going to go with this, which is retrieved from diffbot. And this is the data you see. Okay, so that is good. Now let's prepare the document as per Llama index. Because Llama index require it in this format. So let's do it and that has been 
uh, that is already done and now you need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your openai's key from there so what i'm going to do i'm just going to replace my key here and then i will clear the screen and then we are using this gpt4 model so let me put in my screen and clear it so i have set up my key and i have cleared it and now don't worry about the big lines of code let me try to explain what is happening here let me go at the top so this is where we are defining after importing these libraries the graph rag extractor class so what is this graph rag extractor class is doing it is designed to extract triples which is basically your entities and their relation from text which we provided earlier and enrich it by adding descriptions for entities and relationships to their properties using an llm and this functionality is similar to that of the simple llm path extractor but it includes additional enhancements to handle entity relationship descriptions so that is what it is happening here and then same process for <clears throat> extraction which we uh, saw earlier and next step is to define the graph rag store so again don't worry about the code you will get the link to the code but just try to understand the high level what is happening here because this is a low level implementation so the graph rag uh, graph rag store is simply a class which is an extension of the simple property graph store class which we saw above it is designed to implement graph rag pipeline so this uses community detection algos to group related nodes in the graph and then it generates the summaries for each community using an llm and if you're interested in more detail i will <clears throat> drop the link and in that link you can read it further but in order to implement it you don't need to worry that much about it you see it is still generating so let's wait for it to return that is already done next step is to define the query engine so if i go above and show you so this is a graph rack query engine which we are defining here and it is a custom query engine designed to process queries using the graph rack approach it leverages the community summaries generated by the previous graph rack store to answer users queries so let me run it so that it is going to create it shouldn't take too long because we are just defining here we haven't started any pipeline so that is done as you can see okay so let's move forward now what we are going to do we are going to create an end-to-end -end pipeline with the help of llama index after defining all of these components so first in the pipeline what we need to do we are creating node chunks from the text then we are we will be building a property graph index using graph rag extractor and graph rag store and then we will construct communities and generate a summary for each community using the graph built above so let's create the graph query engine and begin curing so let me run this one first that is already done and if you want to see how many nodes are there then you can check it with this length node function there are 50 nodes that is good and now let's build the graph so let me give it a prompt sort of template where we will be defining the triplet as uh, if you see so we are defining a goal and then we are telling it okay these are the steps which it needs to follow and then this is the output so let me run it here this is just going to define it so then we just need to define as how we want to parse it with the regex or regular expressions again don't worry about it we are just massaging the data here with this regex or regular expression and then we are extracting the entities and their relationship with this extractor so let me run it that is done and now let's use the property graph index on that rag data with the help of llama index by using this graph index we are passing nodes we are passing the extractors and then you can also uh, see the progress here which is good so let's wait for it to show us the eta and this is going to take a bit of a time because it depends upon your data and all that stuff so right now it is telling me that it is going to take uh, under three minutes so let's wait for it to finish it is still running but one thing i wanted to show you is that i have received this rate limiting error from gpt4 so you might also get that 
I think this is just retrying it, but it failed here because of that. So you might have to rerun it few times. That is one of the problem with these closed source API ones. Not only they charge us for API, but they also limit us for rate one. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. I will just rerun it. And if it doesn't complete, I will show you the notebook itself. So let's wait for it to finish. Again, we are getting the rate limit. It is telling me that again try it in 54 seconds i don't think so this is going to work okay so i tried many times and then eventually i was able to complete it 100 percent and now you can see that it's listing the index so this is a problem with this stuff let's try to list out various stuff there so you see this is where i am listing down all various entities just to show you how it looks like you can also uh, check out the whole entity here with the, there you go you see so the whole text is there too and if you want to build a communities you can simply run this command sorry it is still trying the above one anyway i'm not worrying about it anymore so i'm just going to build a property here so let's wait for it to build it and this is going to take a bit of a time the only problem is that this rate limiting which is a bit of a bummer anyway so let's try to initialize our query engine and this is the usual query engine which we do with the llama index and then for the curing all you need to do is to run this command with this query engine and this is the usual stuff we do it in llama engine and then it is going to display it in the markdown format and this is all grounded in your own data with graph and their relationship and you can ask it different questions as you like so my thoughts on is this looks good i mean uh, always a good thing to see people are implementing this with different ways but it seems quite complicated and there are a lot of stuff a uh, lot of steps there would be good to see how they do it uh, in terms of grounding the actual microsoft graph rag which is quite easy to use in this one but the whole idea between using rag as um, part of entities and the relationship is quite cool so similarly you can use other um, questions too from the data and then it will give you the answers also one another tip is that if you are facing more and more rate limiting it's not working if you remember um, i'll just take you above and so you can even curtail down the number of rows let me show you how so from the own data set first i was getting 50 rows but now I just moved it to five and then it is returning me four rows just to make sure that we do it right that is why the last question didn't return any response but this this was just to show you how to use it at to end so that is one thing you can do and besides that api key from openai is a paid option so the more data you would have the more api call you would make the more cost it will be and i just checked just for running this whole 50 rows um it charged me around three dollars us so make sure that you have uh, that much amount in your case the more data you will use the more it will be uh, the more expensive it will become but anyway good effort not bad at all i will drop the link to this notebook in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching